Okay, what's good? Now you guys have read the title and what I will be telling you guys is what I think they should be adding into Madden Mobile 21. Now you guys already watched my wishlist video um, and I said I might do a part two and this is kind of like a part two to that video, but I'm not titling that. I'm just going to give some more insight about Madden Mobile 21 and all that stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy that. Um, and also June 16th is when they will be dropping the sneak peek so you guys will get um, that video so make sure you guys have your post notifications on for that because that is going to be amazing we're going to get a lot of maybe hopefully a lot of information because i really don't know what they're going to be providing us with these sneak peeks maybe uh what the home screen is looking like um you know the the regular home screen the main home screen and then maybe the cards and stuff i have no clue i really don't but i can't wait for that to happen i have no i'm pretty sure uh, I think the Twitch stream is at like 10 or 11. I'm have to, I'm going to have to check on that. I don't really know. Um, but yeah. So, before I get into this video, guys, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on so you guys never miss out on any of the news on the channel that will be happening in Madden Mobile. So yeah, let's get right into the basic, basically the topic of this video, which is what else should um, be in Madden Mobile 21? What it, what is What am I going to be telling you guys right now well i'm gonna be telling you guys that madden mobile 20 was okay now uh did ea kind of bounce back i would say yeah they bounced back got a little bit more uh people to come back into the game and you know bounce the game back up to the top grossing uh if you guys don't know what that is i'm pretty sure it's i'm pretty sure it's grossing or something like that it's in like the it's like trending okay it's it's in the app stores and yeah basically they went back up and basically when Madden Mobile 20 started, it was in like sem top 75 or something like that. It was insane. It went from 200 to 75 in a couple of weeks. And that was insane. Now, Overdrive was the downfall. Madden Mobile 15 through 17 was like the prime. Okay, it was the best of the best. Then, uh, 18 came and we had a little bit of a change. And then, you know, downfall, reopen. And now this has to be the best Madden we have ever like looked at. Okay, if this is not... The best man and then uh we're gonna have a problem now here is my insights on um the best madden mobile 21 yeah so i don't really have like anything written down or like you know how much i'm gonna be telling you guys about but i do have a lot to say so basically the first thing i want to tell you guys is going to be you know with the wish list too if they don't fix the auction house that will be a big problem now um do i think they should bring coins selling back into the game. No, I feel like we should grind for our coins. And they should also, um, you know, let the packs be, like, no limits. We just open as much as we want. If we grind, we should w we should just go ahead and open as much as we want. You know, make the packs good so we waste our coins, you know. Yay. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Okay, let's do it right, okay. So, let me rephrase back to Madden Mobile 15. I, I, it's, like, it's kind of like a blur to me, but I remember playing that game. When I was just a little, yeah, just a little, but still, um, it was, pr it was a pretty cool game. I'm pretty sure Marshawn Lynch was on the cover. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it went Marshawn Lynch, Old Jr., we got Gronk, and then we had freaking, like, I'm pretty sure when Gronk was there, we had, like, Von Miller, and then we had, like, some other, like, they, they kept on changing the actual, like, screen stuff, like, like, the login screen. It was kind of weird why they were changing that. We got Antonio Brown, yeah, um, and then we got... Patrick Mahomes, which is now, and then we have Lamar Jackson. Now, will Lamar Jackson win us a Super Bowl? That's questionable. I have no clue. And now that picture on the screen, I got it from like a, like you know, you type Madden Mobile 21. That came up on a Google image, so I have no clue who made that. Now, if you guys know who made that, um, please comment down below. But I have no clue, and it's pretty dope uh, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people were making these like login screens, but there was one login screen that I think it's going to be the actual thing. So, you know how, like, you know, Patrick Mahomes has, like, the purple round? I'm pretty sure it's going to be white or something like that. I don't know. I might drop a video on that or something. But let's get right back to the topic of this video because we kind of we kind of drifted for a moment, okay? Uh, because I was talking about one thing. So, the second thing is, um, will the gameplay be changed? That's that's actually a huge thing. Like, what what is, is the... Are they going to change stuff about the Frostbite engine? Are we going to get a little bit of a touch-up to the things and stuff? Is that, that going to be a sneak peek? That's what I want to know. And are they going to... If they change the card art, that would be funny. I want to see if they do that. 
I don't think they will because it's brand new. And usually, you know, EA keeps it for two to three years. That's what they've been doing. Um, I'm pretty sure they changed it up when Madam 16 started. I'm pretty sure they changed it up. I'm not really sure. It's it's kind of confusing with the years because uh, it's like when Madam 17 is out, it's also 18 because the year changes and stuff and all that. Um, they should fix the coins again. The coins, like they, they abbreviated them. And I think that is annoying because you don't know how much coins you're spending. And if you knew, then you'd be like, oh, I want to stop at that limit. But you don't know because it's like 13.1M. Okay. And you're like, okay, how much do I have of that extra one at the end? Like, it's it's so confusing. And I mean, you spend, you're like, oh, it's all gone because you had no clue that you just spend it, um, all the rest of your coins because it doesn't tell you any, like how much you have. And um, I know I noticed a lot of games have been changing up that, you know, kind of their currency where it, they're just abbreviating it. And all that stuff, which I think is kind of stupid <laughs> um, in a way. Because I want to see the huge number, okay? I want to see how much coins I have. It's also great to, you know, put in a thumbnail that you have like 13,000. I mean, well, 13 million, 600,000, 82, whatever coins. Instead of 13.6 million or M, whatever you can call it. Now, um, we're going to drift away from that right now. And we're going to go to... Okay, we're going to talk about the front office. Now, you guys probably know the front office when you get badges and stuff. You guys can get a lot of gems from that stuff, but I kind of think it is a waste of just existence that it's there. And I like, what is it used for? Um, a little bit, like, I'm, okay, five percent, four percent, two percent of your stamina boost. What is that? XP is like five more. Like, is it really giving me that much more? Like, it's not a big deal. It's just sitting there for no reason. We got um, when a new promo comes out, you can buy another like booster thing. It's in the front office. I just think all those are pointless. It's just there for like, like, I don't know, just there for pointless reasons and stuff. Um, okay. We're heading into the fourth thing right now. And I want to say something about the settings. If you guys go into the settings and Madden Mobile, one thing they have is the graphics thing. You can play on like bad graphics, okay graphics, and good graphics. Now, if you don't have a good phone, you guys can't see that like thing. Or you might have shut it off in your like Madden Mobile settings thing. And if you guys... Uh, have a good phone put them on the best settings so you guys have the best graphics because the game right now okay okay graphics now i want to i i want to say madden mobile 22 23 we might get boosted graphics and better gameplay and that'll be dope maybe some controller support as i was saying in the first wish list and stuff all that could be changed and all that could be better if that happens um the fifth thing on the um on my mind basically is what what is EA thinking when they're like making this game? What is EA saying in their heads? Because basically they have all this time off for what's been happening, but it's kind of been hard to get around to do stuff because they're not all together, you know, making the game. Obviously, um, they're all separated and you know trying to contribute to making this game the best for us. Okay, the best for us to play, have fun with, and you know basically not get bored after a couple hours. And you know one thing I need to tell EA is. Take stamina out. We need to remove stamina. Goodbye. Throw it away. Goodbye. I don't even know why people want to stamina back. Because, first of all, back in Overdrive, when you took out stamina, the versus promo was amazing. Literally, that was the time to upgrade your team. Even the boss's promo, that was the time to upgrade your team. You could upgrade it to the best. Like, just to the best, okay? You could just upgrade that stuff. Like, immediately have the best team ever. And that was just the prime right there. Of just you being... Basically, the game dying, and then you being the only one who's playing, getting the best team. Yeah. Um, I can't wait for Madden Mobile 21 to come out, because I really want to play that, too. Um, okay, next one. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if we're on, like, the 6th one or the 7th. I'm pretty sure on the 6th, but I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Take stamina out. Here we go to the next one, and it's kind of fitting into the stamina thing. But it's different, because it's with live events. And how EA is running with all that. Now EA has different game modes of Master Series, Season Mode, Overdrive, Head to Head. We've had these things for years now. Like over, well not over six, six years, okay? Almost seven years of this game having the same stuff. Overdrive has been a little changed, but it's been boring. No one's like been playing and stuff. They brought back um the, uh, I don't, I forgot what it was. Like the Draft Challenge stuff, which was cool, but it was limited. And maybe they brought it back, maybe they took it out, I don't know. But 
I think they should just keep certain game modes and change up the game modes to keep this game alive. If they're changing up stuff, dragging more people in, that's what gets our attention. If you have a new game mode in, people want to come to it. Now, see, Madden on console has new game modes, new players, and all that stuff. They're coming into the game that's keeping people wanting to play that game. And one thing that keeps them playing is, I don't know if a lot of people know what Superstar KO is or like Superstar KO, but I feel like if that game mode was kind of in Madden Mobile or there was something like that or something towards that, that would be 100% a, you know, a attention grabber to other people who, you know, are bored of the game. So yeah, that could be a big update or upgrade to that stuff. And another one on the list, guys, is new promos okay he has been doing it this year I'm, I'm i have been seeing like maybe three promos that we have never seen before but change it up okay put in the og promos that we all love you know those certain promos that come around the corner or the certain promos for holidays keep those in but just throw in some different ones keep the game alive if someone's never seen a promo they're gonna be like whoa i want to play this promo and if they're gonna see a promo that the i've already played and it's a little bit of a change every year they might be like, oh, I don't want to play it, or oh my god, that's an OG promo, let me play it. It's kind of like a mixed match, but a lot of people are not really going to play that promo because it's been there for a while. Um, also, another one on the list is that if this game is not a decently 8 out of 10 or will actually make people go, wow, EA has done themselves. This game is actually good, and it's bringing me back to Madden 15 through Madden 17 years, and I would say good job, EA. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I'll have some uh, news for you guys soon on the leaks, which is coming June 16th. Make sure you guys have your post notifications on and drop a like on this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.